Hey, what's going on today? My name is Donuts, and I am the owner of TeamRiserFall.com. I'm here to help you out with your Fantasy Cruncher overview. All right, so potentially you're a newer Fantasy Cruncher user, and you're wondering, what am I looking at? Well, if you're hopping over to any of these sites, you simply scroll over the sport, and it will give you all of the different options for the optimizers. Let's say I'm trying to make some lineups for week three of the NFL season on DraftKings. I'm going to hover over the NFL tab, click the DraftKings button. It will bring me up to this page. From here, the most important thing to do next, and I can't stress this enough, you need to go to game filter. You need to identify what slate are you playing. I'm assuming you're probably entering the main slate. So I'm going to click this 13 game main slate. This will allow me to make lineup specific for the 1 p.m. main slate that includes all 13 of the day games. If you're playing a, a night slate or an afternoon slate, it needs to be selected here in the game filter. So that is the first thing you do. You go to the game filter and select your slate. From there, there are all sorts of options and different paths you can take. Quickly, let's go over what are these tabs, how to use them. Well, we have the player pool. You can sort it by clicking on any of these columns to make them ascend or descend in value and name. Right here, this tab, you can uncheck all players. This is incredibly useful if you're going to make your own player pool. From here, you can go over to quarterback. You can select whom you want in your lineups for that day. And just by clicking this box and add who you want. If you want all players back, I'm going to click this same tab right there. Now I have all the players in my player pool. Next, I'm going to look at these categories, and they're all filterable. If you want to sort by the salary, how many implied Vegas team points they're supposed to score, ownership projection if you have SC Pro, your projection, fancy cruncher projection, you can sort it all. You can sort by the value and all sorts of things. From here, we likely are going to want to go up here to advanced options and set up our rules. So how many unique players do you want? You could set up two or three. You can force a minimum salary. That means if I have 49000 in here, you are saying that you don't want Fancy Cruncher to make a single lineup with less than $49,000 used. So you'll never have more than $1,000 in leftover salary if you do this. You can make this as high or as small as you want. You can force a max salary, a min salary of 50K, in which case every single lineup would use up every single dollar that DraftKings gives you. You can set up how many players you want against your defense, which most players, if on a main slate, are leaving at zero. How many player or how much percentage do you want on any player, any one player, a maximum amount? So you could set a global cap of whatever you choose. Maybe you choose 60%. That means no player will get used more than 60% of the time over the course of your entire crunches. So if I crunch out 100 lineups, I am saying nobody is going to be used more than just about 60 out of the 100 lineups. You can set a randomness that will dot that will be a randomized projected score based on the point projection. So if your guy is projected for 100 points and I have chosen a 10% randomness, anywhere between 90 to 110 points would be his uh, projected total for each crunch. If you have FC Pro, lucky you, this is on a distribution curve. So each projection will be closer to the actual projection you have. And then as you go further away from that 100, it'll be less used less and less times, less frequent. If that's very confusing, don't worry. We can have a distribution video up for you later. Now, from here, you want to set up your position stack rules. This is where you tell Fancy Cruncher to give you exactly what you want. You can set up all sorts of rules, and I will show you these and how to use these in the advanced options video, which I will do next. From here, you're going to want to go down, crunch your lineups. You can set how many you want. Let's say I'm making 15 or 150, and I'm using my projections. I'm going to calculate this. And while this is crunching, at any time, you can stop it. If this is going too fast for you, feel free to stop. You can look at your exposures based on each player, each position. Then you can click on the player, change their exposure cap. You can change their projection. You can even remove them from your player pool. Then you can tell Fancy Cruncher, well, now I need to go a little bit slower. I'm going to do 27. I have 23 lineups right now, and I'm crunching out more lineups right now. 
It's going to get up to 50, and then it'll stop on its own. All right. Now from here, I can look at my player pool, see how it's doing. I can even search to see all of my Kyler Murray lineups by clicking this magnifying glass, and it shows me all of my Kyler Murray lineups. If I was happy with these 50 total lineups right now, I could export the lineups by clicking this export button. This would export my crunch, in which case I would use that to edit or upload my CSV files, which we have a tutorial on the way for you as well. Lastly, if you're trying to manipulate your player pool and change things around, let's say you took all these guys out, you didn't want them in there, maybe you thought Dak Prescott's in for a great game this weekend, you can click these thumbs right here. These thumbs will increase or decrease projections by 8% for each thumb. So if I love me some Dak Prescott this weekend, I'm going to give him three thumbs that would increase his projection by 24%. Or maybe I didn't like Cam Newton this weekend, so I'm going to decrease his projection by minus 16%, and that would be of whatever projection set you're using. Now, maybe I love Dak Prescott so much I've decided, you know what, I'm going to lock him in there. You can click this lock button. From here, I can go down and say, I know I want 50 Dak Prescott lineups. I have locked Dak Prescott for 50 lineups, and I will have 50 Dak Prescott lineups made right now by clicking the lock button. You can see these being crunched out. All right. From here, if you've said, wow, you know what? This is the most amazing player pool I've ever created, but I'm not done. I, I've got to go take care of the kids. I have to do something with life, and I'm going to need to come back and do some work and make lineups later. All right, great. You can go up here to the player pool and save it. You can actually save your player pool, give it a name, and this is my initial, and you can save it. Now, later, you want to come back and get to work again? and maybe you're hopping on a new computer or going somewhere, and you can come back and load your player pool. This is also pretty important if you plan on using Lineup Rewind. And if you're like, man, what in the world is Lineup Rewind? Well, we have a tutorial for that as well. And you can load your player pools that you used in previous weeks and go in there and test some theories, test out some strategies, and see if you can become a winner going forward. The last thing you'll want to know is if you've messed around with the player pool, if you've messed around with thumbs, you've given people all sorts of projection increases or ratings, and maybe you've changed things around so much that you just feel like, uh-oh, I got to start over, or I really need to change things up. There's this wonderful actions tab down here. It's pretty much like a reset button. If you said to yourself, you know what, I kind of screwed up these projections today, click this button right here. Actions, remove my projections. There you go. Yes, remove my projections. Now they're all back to FCs. You could also remove your dislikes. If you did not like them and you want to restart or do something different, you can reset it. Now, all of my projections are removed. And again, you want to add all the player pools in, start over again, go ahead. You can uncheck everybody, check them back in. The entire player pool has been restored. All the likes are reset. Projections are reset. You're ready to rock and roll.